Hi everyone, it's Melissa with Jacksonville Business Connections and we are coming live to you today with another online virtual interview. Uh, we haven't been on for a while and we're trying to get right back into letting you meet local businesses and people that work in the industry in North Florida. And today I have with me Colby King and she's an on-air personality with the Jacksonville Radio. And actually, today is a fun day for me because the tables are turned. Usually, uh, Colby is interviewing me um, for different various events that we host in the community. So it's fun to uh, be the one to interview her now. Yeah, so thank you for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is so exciting. And literally, like you just said, it's it's cool to be on the other side of this today. Yeah, absolutely. So just to kick it off, do you want to share with us a little bit more in depth and detail what you do for Jacksonville Radio? Yeah, so, so first Jacksonville Radio, we're a cluster of seven radio stations. Um, and it's super broad, everything from a political talk station to a country station to contemporary Christian to gospel to financial talk to your classic rock station with the Beatles and Motown kind of feel. So we kind of cover all areas, whatever you like to listen to, we have. Um, but then my role and my position on all of these stations kind of varies from day to day but for the most part i get to do our morning drive traffic so 6 a.m to 9 a.m if you're stuck in traffic or if you're about to be stuck in traffic chances are i'm the one telling you where that traffic is going to be at um and i i love that aspect of my job just because it's 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 a great way to start the day with how strict and structured it is um you, you kind of know what to expect when it comes to traffic, especially in Jacksonville during a pandemic. There's there's not much. Um, but then the the other sides of my job that I super love is I, I get to host two different shows. So one of them that you, Melissa, have been on a lot is uh, North Florida Neighborhood. And it it's cool because radio is all about connecting with others in our community. And what I love about Jacksonville Radio is we're not super syndicated but but we're local like we are in your backyard we are in your neighborhood and that's what north florida neighborhood is all about is getting to know your neighbors and getting to know how they're serving your community and what they're doing with you and for you so like today um i have a lineup of interviews i'm going to be chatting with the museum of science and history the mosh oh nice <laughs> yeah super fun i'm going to chat with uh saint augustine night of lights and i feel like if you live here we've all been to that right yes absolutely yeah, like Dax Illuminations, it's it's Christmas, so I've kind of tailored my interviews um, to that. But then I've also been able to chat with you and all the events that you're hosting along with uh, things like, you know, Deck the Chairs, but then Feeding Northeast Florida, um, like the Cummer Museum, you know, just, just places that are in our community and getting to know the behind the scenes of what they do um, and how we as their neighbors can serve them, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And I am always thankful for the little shout outs. Everything helps. And especially like you said, if it's community related and it's helping the community, that's awesome. Yeah. It, so I, I love that because I love people and it's, it's been a transition of being behind a microphone to kind of talking to thousands of people, but not really talking to them. So that part of my job is like gets my human fix in. Um, <laughs> and then I, I also get to host a show on our contemporary Christian station, 100.7 The Promise. Um, it's called Cruising with Colby, where we just chat, we laugh. I coin it as like your morning dose of sunshine and Jesus. Uh, so that's fun because with, with North Florida Neighborhood, you're learning so much about these other organizations. Um, but with cruising with Colby, we get to kind of do life together and share where we're at, um, while also having fun and listening to really good music. And then I like voice and produce commercials. <laughs> side. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like a core of what my position at Jacksonville radio looks like. That's really cool. I didn't know about the cruising with Colby. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> That's really fun. And how did you really get started in the radio business? Like, do you want the story from, like, that goes way, way back? Or do you want... Yeah, because like, I think I remember you telling me a little bit. Okay, so, so like, the true backstory um, was when I was in sixth grade, I did not have a date to the school dance. 
which is pathetic because I'm in sixth grade and you don't <laughs> date to dance. Obviously, I don't even know why they have those in sixth grade. But I didn't have one and I was super, super bummed about it. So the principal asked if I wanted to MC the dance, like, you know, host it, tell everybody where the snacks are, what songs playing next, all, all this fun stuff. And I was like, yeah, totally. And <laughs> I, it, it was a Halloween school dance. So I was dressed up as a professional motocross racer because that's actually what I wanted to do for a living. So I'm dressed up on stage like that. And I remember like exactly what I said, the, the snacks and drinks are over here. Our next song is this. Um, and thanks so much for joining us tonight. And I remember turning the microphone off and thinking, this could be my job when I grow up. Like this is, these are, this is a real person's job. Like why couldn't it be me? Right. And, and that's kind of where it started. Um, I was just super blessed in being able to intern um, at some really cool radio stations, uh, like political talk ones and one in Nashville. And I, I was even able to do my intern, my final internship in Honolulu. Wow. Yeah. So, so all of these, like the Lord just really blessed me and solidified that I was, I was created to do radio, which, which is so corny. Like, so <laughs> I was all, all because you didn't have a date <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I at motocross at all but it was really cool um how that's all lined up and then just steady I, i've been with jacksonville radio for two years and i started off doing sales and cleaning studios and i still clean studios but i don't like sales i'm not good at it um but just steady working my way up like I, I had such a passion in my heart to be on a mic to talk to air to, to talk to people like you Melissa um and just kind of be a voice for the people quote unquote and how like I mean over the past 15 20 years that's really escalated into now like I'm able to support myself um and this is like this is my full-time job is talk yeah. I, I tell people I get paid to talk it's so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. So do you see this growing into something um, larger mm -hmm. in the future? Or are you pretty much good with where you're at? Man, that's, that's such a good question. Um, I, radio, radio is a really cool industry. People think radio is a dying industry, but it's not. There's, there's always room, or pardon, there's always room to grow with radio. And I think especially as a personality and I'm at a spot right now in my on-air personality role where people are kind of just getting started to know me pardon just getting starting started to know me um so like my my North Florida neighborhood show is great and my cruising with Colby show is great but ideal where I would love to be is our morning DJ host which I, I'm on our mornings with traffic but being able to do it 6 a.m. to 9 9 a.m. like a true personality show and then I think this is a lot of jocks dreams but being able to have that syndicated um throughout the country and that's where sure, very true. yeah that's where your salary comes in and then that's where like you truly build your personality um but I mean all jocks have to start somewhere so why not here yeah you know? absolutely like, and you're and you're doing it like, I think it's great. The the two opportunities you do have, you are getting yourself out there and helping the community on top of it, which is even a bigger connector right now for you. And, and that's my heart. And I've never been about like, oh, I want to be syndicated throughout the country because I want people to know Colby. Like, I don't, I don't care about that. But like, what I do care about is like stewarding these opportunities I do now, I, I have now, and then stewarding like the relationships I have with you, Melissa, along with the other people in the community. Um, but yeah, just, just being that core and like my heart has always been towards radio ministry. And that's why I'm very fortunate with the companies I do work for. They're like at the bottom, like their true foundation is faith. Like even our country station, We'll have some like classic old hymns by Alan Jackson. And I mean, I, I worked for a contemporary Christian station as well. So like at the end of the day, I just want to talk right. about what I love most. And that's like my hobbies, but then also like Jesus, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and it's mm -hmm. such a blessing to be able to get paid for that. Uh, <laughs> yes, absolutely. But yeah. 
So along with radio, I mean, that truly is um, a marketing opportunity for businesses like me. Is there any little golden nugget of marketing and radio that maybe would help some of the businesses that, that might watch or the benefits of marketing with radio? Yeah, I, I think what sets radio apart is that we're not just a voice people casually listen to, but we we do life with you. Like I said, so when we put a company on our station, you're, you're backed by our personalities. We, we wouldn't just throw anybody on our station unless we believe that they have quality services to provide. And by being on our stations, our listeners here like, oh, oh my gosh, I really trust the station and I trust the services that it offers me, which means I can trust this company. Um, so, and I think that's, that speaks volumes. We're not just a casual TV show um, or channel, but we're people come to know and love their jocks. And when they hear a company affiliated with the jocks that they love and they do life with, they're like, oh man, why wouldn't I hire this company over another random billboard I passed on the road? Like these people know who I know. Absolutely. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. So if our if any of our businesses are listening, definitely reach out to Jacksonville Radio to get some advertising going or reach out to Colby and see if there's any um, hookups she can give you with being on the radio. But is there anything that maybe I didn't mention that you want to share with us? Um, I, I, I want to hit on it. This is a question I get all the time. And I like sure. a little bit is like, well, why, why are people choosing radio still when there are services like Spotify and podcast and iTunes and all this stuff? I've gotten that question so many times. And I even get it from my parents. Um, oh, that's a great question. Yeah. And, and someone like me who is in that Spotify age range, um, who doesn't listen to radio that much, comparing the two, you can't. It's like comparing apples to oranges. Radio is a whole separate entity. And I, I tell people the whole purpose of radio is creating an atmosphere that people want to be a part of. So when you listen to a podcast, nine times out of 10, you're not just casually listening to it, but you're really, really paying attention. And radio for ever since it started to now, and I'm okay with this, is is being the background noise. Um, you're dropping your kids off to school. You're not going to listen to an audiobook because you're not going to be able to pay attention. But radio, yeah, we're kind of in and out. And that's why I say we do life with you. You're not stopping your life to be with us. And people are always going to want that companionship as opposed to maybe a podcast where they're being talked at and not talked to. That's where radio comes in, where, where we walk alongside you. Um, right. And radio is still very interactive with call-ins and, yeah. you know, live contests and different types of things like that. Yeah. Um, so I just want to kind of debunk that myth that radio and radio is not going anywhere um, because we're we're in our own game. We don't need to compete with the podcast and the Spotify of the world. Whereas a lot of our jocks, they'll get off air and they'll do a behind the scenes and upload a podcast. So you get to know them better. Um, but we're, we, we stay in our lane. Um, right. Podcasts are incredible and Spotify and iTunes is incredible. Um, but that's not our service. Uh, but yeah. So just awesome. Enough. <laughs> no, I love that. I, I love learning all these different things. And that's one of the things I love about doing these interviews is just pers like the um, personal aspect that comes out of the interview, but also just things I, I never knew. And it's just such a growth experience. And I definitely appreciate you um, coming on and visiting us. And if you ever have anything in the future that you want to share with us, we would definitely love to invite you back. Yeah, for sure. Melissa, thank you so much. Like I said, it's it's been so sweet being on the other side of the coin, um, taking a backseat and not leading because as soon as I get off this, I have to go interview the mosh. So this okay. is cool to just kind of share my heart um, instead of allowing other people to share theirs, which is so great, but to change it up a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye.